what is the United Shades of America about? Uh, United Shades of America is a documentary series on CNN, and the whole premise behind the show is that CNN takes a black guy and sends him to places either you wouldn't expect him to go or he absolutely should not go. Well, let me ask you this because I saw a clip of you talking to what appeared to be members of the Klan. Mm -hmm. So how do you get people knowing that a camera is trained on them to talk about some of these tough issues without bristling up on you or kind of clamming up or trying to clean it up so that they don't sound crazy when it airs on television? Well, for the funny thing about the Klan is for the most part, they're wearing hoods, so <laughs> they're already afraid of their self-image. They're already a little embarrassed because they have the hoods on. Not all of them. Uh, I think for me, comedy is a part of that, really making people, even somebody who I don't agree with, like a member of the Ku Klux Klan, when I meet them, hi, nice to meet you, thanks for talking to us, I know this is an unusual situation, I really, and sort of opening people up and people start to calm down and then they start to feel free to talk, you know, so I didn't go in hard. Did you find it at all frightening to go? Absolutely, I want to be very clear about that. When I got out of the car, I had this moment, and I think it's on the pilot, where I was on the show and I was like, oh, shit. It's like, like, I just was like very like, this isn't a good idea. And because you see a phalanx of Ku Klux Klan members, they're all wearing the regalia, and they're all, there's like a one in red and one in blue. And it's, and uh, the one in blue came out really hard. Like he clearly wanted to like make his bones and show the other people, like he was a senior member. I want to show him. I'm not, you know, so he came, you know, sort of came out with a lot of words at first. And so I had to sort of, sort of sustain that. It was also around the time of Ferguson. So he had a lot to say about that. And I, so I had to sort of sustain that quote unquote attack. And then once we got through, that I was able to go, uh, you know. So tell me about how you eat your skittles, and we started talking about how he separates his skittles. Wow, oh, he, by color? He does. Yeah, he doesn't want the he doesn't want the colors to mix in any way. You, not you not black kidding. and white people or red and green skittles. Because I was because I was friendly, and because I made them laugh about themselves, and also about just the situation, uh, and I also didn't back down from them. I know when I left, some of them were like, "Wait a minute, I don't think I hate black people as much as I used to." You know, I, and now whether that means they leave the clan or whatever, but I know that I had that impact. You know, so I may end up being their. Uh, I think it was Joe Tory to their Edward Norton in American History X. Oh my goodness! <laughs> we were. I may be the la the guy in the laundry room who's like, you know, not all black people are bad. You know, what do you think about? <laughs> Why should I, a viewer tune in to yet another discussion about race in America? There's many reasons. There's many ways to answer this question. I feel like a politician. Let me start with the end of your question first. Let me get you a podium. Yeah, so you yeah, can get ready. yeah. First of all, until we fix the problem, we need to have more discussions. You know, it's it's like it's like a sickness at the doctors. They don't go. We we examined you last time when you were sick. I don't know. We, why should we look again? It's it, it's a sickness. It's America's first disease is racism. So I feel like until we solve the problem, you should always be curious about other ideas. The second thing is. The thing that we're trying to do with the show and I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make TV that I haven't seen before. And, and even though if the issues, if the subjects are the, sound the same, the way in which I'm approaching them aren't the same. So I, I'm trying to really work, go out there and go, you know, we talk about the Klan, but you, don't, you haven't seen a black guy go talk to the Klan.